They are here in the valley. Las Vegas Metro Police confirming MS-13 gang members and now responsible for brutal killings across Las Vegas. And tonight, police are telling us that there are as many as 50 members prowling the streets right now. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live at Metro Police headquarters with the new details. Joe. <laughs> Yeah, Carla, Las Vegas police say that these guys involved in 10 gruesome murders around the valley were extremely violent and dangerous. But today, police telling us they feel they have a handle on the MS-13 gang problem. It happened for close to a year. Grizzly murder scenes, some in the cover of darkness and some on the outskirts of town, but all of them gang member violence from MS-13. They are a transnational gang originating in El Salvador and in California. Las Vegas police say the gang has specific ties to L.A. and Fresno, but a smaller group has sprung up in Las Vegas. Around 50 MS-13 gang members are now documented in the area. Transnational gangs do. They go from city to city, so uh, it's not unusual to find them. Uh, in places outside of uh, of the border. MS-13 got on the local radar in January after a known gang member's body was dumped in the mountains east of Las Vegas. That led to the urgent investigation and quickly tied 10 gruesome murders over the past 12 months together. I'm very confident that the active players of the gang associated with MS-13 are in custody. The victims were killed over street-level drug sales and potential rival gang affiliations, according to police. Five suspects ranging in age from 17 to 24 are now held on federal immigration violations, but that's just the start. Kidnapping, assault with intent to commit murder, first degree murder, use of a firearm resulting in death, crimes occurring on federal land. And police believe they have all of the suspects and also all of the victims accounted for. This case is now in the hands of the U.S. Attorney's Office. And um, as I said, all the suspects here may uh, may um, face federal charges. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.